Mahamadu Dogdari believes the day he and his family fled their home when Boko Haram raided their village in northeast Nigeria. There were gunshots all over our place, he says. They shot at anyone. I took my family and left immediately for the border. Once they were in Cameroon, they'd hoped they were safe. They were wrong. The militants had demanded Dogari's son join them, and he'd refused. So the gunmen came after him. He was sleeping in a traditional bed outside our shelter at the border. When they came, they beat him up with sticks. He got up and recognized them. When he tried to run away, they shot him. While Mahamadou and about 17,000 others, both Christians and Muslims, have found refuge here at Minawao camp, where officials say the population has been growing on an almost daily basis. It's about 120 kilometers from the border, but no one feels safe. Abigail Paul and her husband hoped to find refuge in Cameroon for when their first child was born, but she's been a widow for a month. They were shouting, God is great, as they exchanged fire with the military. There were many of them surrounding the area. My husband tried to run, but they shot him and then cut up his body. Cameroon has deployed elite troops to this area, determined to beat back Boko Haram's persistent raids. They are dealing with a determined enemy, one that can melt in among these refugees, but one capable of deploying military hardware. Boko Haram is uh, improving their capabilities and then they are able to do many things as you have seen on the field. So we are preparing and to face every kind of threat that can happen, either by bike, on tanks, with motorcycles or motors. Conditions here are desperate at times. Cholera and malaria frequently take lives, but came to visit me. no one dares to go home. Jane Keo, CCTV, Minawao, Cameroon.